and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. I am so excited to be back with you guys today with a brand new crochet tutorial. Today we are going to be making this ear warmer. So this is my Mimi's ear warmer pattern. It was originally designed for my Mimi who plays tennis. So this is something that she can wear to keep her ears warm while she's playing, but something that is not quite as bulky as a hat or something like that. So this ear warmer is made in one piece. It uses only the single crochet stitch and it's worked flat in rows. So it is a great project for a beginner crocheter. You can wear it one of two ways. You can either wear it with the wide part on top. Let me show you. I put my hair in a ponytail just for y'all so I could really model this. So you can wear it this way. So I have the wide part at the top, and then you can see that it is covering my ears. The other way that you can wear it is with the narrow part at the top, and then the back side would be covering your neck a little bit. So let me show you what that looks like. Put it on again. There we go. So just like this, you can see that the narrow part is here at the top and the back section is still covering my ears, but then it's also covering my neck just a little bit and keeps me warm that way. So this is a super simple crocheted ear warmer. You can find the PDF in my Ravelry and Etsy shops for an inexpensive price um, in the description box below, or you can download it for free on my blog. So or you can find it for free on my blog. So you can choose whichever method that you like. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so here I have everything I'm going to be using to create my ear warmer. So first off, the yarn. The yarn I'm going to use today is Recrochet Mighty Stitch. This is an acrylic and superwash wool blend. So it is a great yarn for um, warm little garments or accessories like this that is easily washable. I am also going to be using a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. The stitch marker is optional, but it can be handy for one step that you will see a little bit later. Now the yarn colors that I am using, um, this is the colorway Ash, and it is the color I'm going to be using today. And this ear warmer was created with the same yarn in the colorway Knit. So gather your materials and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I have moved all of my other materials off the camera so that you can truly focus on just the yarn and my hands. And we're going to go ahead and get started with our ear warmer. So the first thing we are going to do is make a slip knot. And you can see that I'm not leaving a very long tail. I am just leaving enough to weave in at the end. Now the next thing I'm going to do is chain 8. So yarn over and pull through. And that is your first chain. We're going to repeat that 7 more times for a total of 8 chains. Okay, there is my 8 chains. And now I'm going to start with row 1. So you might find it handy to print off your pattern so that you can follow along with me. Um, if you want to do that, I highly recommend it. You can even check off the rows as you go. Now for row one, we are going to skip this very first chain that you see here. And we are going to work a single crochet in each chain across. So just one single crochet in each stitch. All the way to the end. Oh, I didn't go all the way through that one. There we go. Okay, so when you're done with that row, you should have a total of seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now we are going to start with row two. So chain one and turn. And we're just going to single crochet in each stitch across. Remember that this chain one at the beginning of our row does not count as a stitch. It is a turning chain and just allows our edges to be nice and straight, just like this. 
So I'm just going to place one single crochet in each stitch across. And just like in row one, you should have a total of seven stitches at the end of this row. Now we are going to repeat this row until we have seven total rows. And I will meet you back when I have finished those seven rows. Okay, so I have finished my seven rows, so you can see it is just a simple single crochet square right now. And now we're going to start with row eight. And we're going to repeat row eight until we have 15 total rows. So for rows eight through 15, we are going to be increasing to reach our width of the air warmer. We're going to start off by chaining one and turning. And then we're going to work an increase in this very first stitch. To do that, it is super, super simple. We're just going to work two single crochets in this first stitch instead of just one. So I'm going to work one single crochet. And then I'm going to work my second single crochet. And then I'm just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Okay, so that is row eight. I'm going to show you that one more time. Row 9 is just the same. We're going to chain 1 and turn. Single crochet 2 in this first stitch. Single crochet in each stitch across. All the way to the end. Alrighty. You're going to repeat row 7, or excuse me, you're going to repeat row 8 until we have a total of 15 rows, and you will also have a total of 15 stitches. So for each of these rows, you're increasing by one stitch, and when you get to the end of the 15 rows, you will have your completed width of the Iwamo. So I'm going to work until row 15, and I will meet you back here. So I just finished row 15. I was not kidding when I told you this earworm was so simple. Now we are going to create the body of our earworm. And it's super, super easy. We are just going to work 30 rows of plain single crochet. So we're going to start with row 16 and go all the way until row 45. For row 16 and for the start of our repeat, we are just going to chain one and turn and work a single crochet only one in each stitch across. So again, that is just one single crochet in each and every stitch all the way across. Now this is row 16 and we are going to repeat this row until we have 45 total rows. That translates to 30 rows of plain single crochet. Now I'm almost to the end here and I'm going to show you how that stitch marker can come into play. So if you want to, you can just keep single crocheting until you reach 45 total rows. Or you can place a stitch marker in row 16. So I have a stitch marker right here. And I can just take my hook out and place this marker along any stitch in row 16. So I'm just going to place mine in about the middle right there and snap that shut. Now I know that this is row one of my 30 rows for the body of my earwormer. So all I'm going to do is single crochet 29 more rows to get the entire body of 
my e warmer. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to repeat row 16, chain one, and turn single crochet in each stitch across. And then I will meet you back here when I finish with row 45. Okay, so I just finished my 30 rows for the body of my ear warmer, and if I turn this around, take my hook out, you can see my stitch marker. So like I said, this is marking row 16, and if I just count all of these rows, and now remember, if you aren't familiar, this is a wrong side row because it has these little dashes above the stitches, this is a right side row because it does not have those stitches. So the way that you would count these here is row 16, so I would just do 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So there are my 45 rows of single crochet so far for this ear warmer. And now we're going to get started on row 46. Now what you're going to quickly realize is that this next section is simply going to be the mirror image of this section. And so it's going to complete our entire ear warmer. And seriously guys, it's so simple. So we're going to start with row 17. And we're just going to repeat row 17 all the way until, excuse me, we're not going to repeat row 17. We're going to repeat row 46. So row 16 is the repeat of all of this body. Now we're starting row 46. So now, correctly stating it, row 46, we're going to repeat it until we have 53 rows. So that is chain one and turn, single crochet two together. So I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is simply just combining those two single crochet stitches into one single crochet stitch. And now I'm going to single crochet in each stitch across again, just like so. And we're just going to repeat this row, so repeat row 46 until we have 53 rows. And what that is going to do is bring us back down to that original stitch count of 7, so that we can finish off those last few rows of our ear warmer. So there is row 46. If I can do this last stitch, there we go. And now I'll show that to you one more time. We're going to single crochet two together. Insert your hook into the first stitch. And the second stitch. And pull through all of those stitches. Okay, so I'm going to repeat this row until I have worked a total of 53 rows. I will also be back down to my original stitch count of 7. So I will meet you back here when I finish these rows. Okay, so I have finished those decreased rows, and now I'm just going to do my last seven rows, and that is just going to be plain old single crochet. So we're going to chain one and turn, and single crochet in each stitch across. So now we're creating that last little bit that's the same as the first part of the ear warmer. We have seven stitches, and we're going to do seven rows of single crochet. This is the perfect little project for a beginner because it only uses one stitch, but it gives you a little bit of practice with increasing and decreasing and seaming two little ends together. It really is just a beginner friendly project. Oh, I skipped a stitch there. Let me go back and fix that. Okay, so I am going to finish these last seven rows and then I will meet you back here and I'm going to show you how to seam these two ends together.
Okay, so there is my last seven rows. And now I'm going to cut my yarn and seam these two ends. So I'm going to grab my scissors and leaving just about a foot of a tail. I'm going to cut that yarn over and pull through to finish off. Now before I seam these ends together, I'm going to remove this stitch marker, just like that. And I'm going to weave in this first tail so that it isn't in my way at all. And the way that I'm going to do that is just flip it to the wrong side, like this. And just go through a few of these stitches, like so. And pull that through and then I'm gonna do just a few more right on top of those just like that and then I'm going to trim that tail and now that is nice and hidden now to seam our two ends super easy just like the rest of this ear warmer I'm going to thread my needle again and I'm going to bring the two ends together just like this. And I'm just going to seam them. It's that simple. So I'm going to flip it around so that my tail is on my right side. And then I'm going to do the whip stitch. So I'm going to insert my needle into this first chain on the opposite side of the ear warmer. And then I'm going to bring it back down to that very first stitch just like so. Now I'm going to work two stitches, two whip stitches per stitch, just like this. And what that's going to do is just make it look more like a standard single crochet stitch and it's going to make it more doable so that it doesn't come undone or loosen or anything like that. So I'm going to move on to the next two stitches and do two stitches in that. And I'm going to do that all the way across. So it's a really easy seaming method, and if you look really closely, it's visible, but it blends in really well with the rest of the fabric, um, and it just provides a nice little seam. So I really like the way that it looks. Um, if you just do not enjoy seaming at all, you could also just slip stitch the two ends together um, before you cut your tail. But personally, I like the way that this looks, um, and I think it's really simple. So I'm on my last two stitches here. I'm going to do two stitches just like that. And then I'm going to go down once more just to make that extra secure since it's the last stitch. And then I'm going to flip it inside out and just weave in this end on the back just so it stays nice and secure. So I went through a few stitches there. And now... Let's see. Oh, there we go. And now I'm going to go through the stitches. And that should be good. So I'm just going to pull that out. Trim the tail. Oh, I didn't go through all the threads, did I? There we go. And there we go. You're finished, Iwama. Alrighty guys, I hope you loved making that Iwomo along with me. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it and if you made an Iwomo yourself. I would love to see your creations, so be sure to post on Instagram or send me a message through email or any of my other social media platforms, which you can find linked, linked down below. You will also be able to find all of the links to the products I used in this video, so be sure to check those out if you're interested. And thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments if you want to see other tutorials and if you have any specific recommendations or anything like that. I always want to create content that you guys love and are excited about. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all next time. Bye!